And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. Three years ago, I quit my job as a single mom. I didn't quit it to start a new job. I straight up just quit my job. Stick around and I'll tell you why I quit, the reasons behind my quitting, and how you too, as a single parent or a single mom, can quit to become an entrepreneur. Or as I like to call it, a mom entrepreneur. So I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name's Angie, and my goal is to help other mothers like myself be able to stay home with their children while still providing for them. I am a stay-at-home mom that is an entrepreneur without a partner. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. Kind of hard to say uh, for a lot of people because it is hard to be a stay-at-home mom if you're a single mom because who's going to be paying the bills so that's why I decided I was going to come up with a game plan and quit my we'll say nine to five job corporate job but pretty much it was like nine to five plus bring home your computer and then continue to work on emails and answer them till you fall asleep and then when you wake up wake up to a bunch more emails answer those go into work get your butt chewed for something you didn't do and start your day I mean it was fantastic I freaking loved it um, the whole time I, I worked at this job for about two years um, and I, like I said three years ago is when I quit and I have not worked since I'm not for someone else obviously I've worked um, I own my house I own my car uh, we'll talk about finances and things like that in a later video but so far I've been able to sustain and the reason I've been able to sustain is because I came up with a plan and I decided that whether I'm a single mom or whether I'm a married mom or regardless of what my situation is I am going to be a stay-at-home mom I'm going to raise my own children I don't want daycare to raise them if I want a daycare to raise them I I don't know I, I didn't my dream was never to have daycare raise my children I wanted to raise my children and I've always been a really creative person I've always wanted to start my own business and I've had like I don't know how many different business ideas um, I could probably get the old book out here and we could we could go through some of the notes of all the business ideas and this is just from this month um, but no, honestly, um, for the last, probably about two years now, I have been refurbishing furniture for a living. And we'll talk more about that too in a later video. I'm going to explain to you um, how I actually started my furniture refurbishing business for free zero no money it did not cost me any money to start my furniture refurbishing business and within one sale I made $125 from from nothing from just from some work on my part and that was it and it wasn't like a full day's worth of work it was like four hours worth of work and I made $125 so if you think of $125 every four hours and a work day is eight hours, technically that is a potential of earning up to $250 a day. And I did some research because I, I, I saw this deal on YouTube, which, you know, we all watch YouTube pretty much if we're YouTubers, we watch it too, we binge on it. And I saw some information on YouTube that said that most people are actually their happiest at a $70,000 a year salary. Uh, they didn't speak about how many family members were in a family for a $70,000 a year salary. But I did a little bit of math because I wanted to see like if I wanted to make $70,000 a year, 
how much would I have to make a day to make 70,000? And we won't talk about taxes right now. We'll talk about those later. That's like a whole nother 20 minute video that's gonna be boring, but I'll do my best to make it exciting. So that one will be coming up soon. Um, I also soon will be talking about some of the drama that led to me quitting my job. So if you want a nice drama filled video with some fun stuff, um, stick around for that as well. Okay, so I have to say, I didn't just really quit my job on a whim. I mean, I'm, I'm a single parent of two young children. At that time, my daughter was two and my son was four. So obviously just, you know, quitting on a whim and not having any kind of a backup plan would not have been a very responsible thing for me to do as a parent. Um, so while I was, um, I don't know, I guess waiting to quit, not like waiting to exhale, but waiting to quit, um, I pretty much put together just a little, a life plan, a business plan, what I was going to do after I quit to make sure that the decision I made did not affect my children negatively. Because but the whole point, the whole point of me quitting my job was so that I could spend more time with my kids and so that I could be the one raising my children. So it wouldn't have made sense to quit my job and then end up homeless. Um, so before I quit, first thing I did is I made sure I had money in savings. And I made sure based on my bills, that I had enough money in savings to support myself and my kids for at least six to nine months. Because you, when you start a new venture, you don't know how long it's gonna be till you start making money. Um, I also took out a personal loan through my bank for $10,000 and set it aside, just in case. Because once again, I would rather be safe than sorry. I mean, like I said, I own my house and I wanted to, to keep it that way, so. Um, that's why I took out the personal loan through my bank. Now, I could have refinanced and gone that route and used the equity in my home, but I just, I did not feel like that was a good uh, financial decision at that point, so I decided not to. I don't want to have a bunch of different mortgages out on my house. One is good, and I just have one. So, when you don't live in a prime neighborhood, you don't want to over-improve. Because you can spend, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars improving. And I could have put a bathroom down in the basement and got egress windows in my basement. But that, based on the values of the homes around me, that would not have benefited me in the long run. I mean, it would have been nice to have. But in the long run, when it came to selling, that wouldn't have worked out. Um, let me look at my next point. Cause I have, oh, hang on. Okay, so I got the loan. I saved the money. I started a 401k at the business that I was working. They were matching it, so for every, say, $100 I put in, they put in $100. Um, that eventually got rolled over into an IRA, and we'll talk about finances and IRA um, in another, IRAs in another video. I do intend this channel to be for entrepreneurs. I intend this channel to be a finance channel. Um, anybody can watch it. I don't care who watches it. You're all welcome to watch. But um, I, I wanted to target down, I really wanted to target down my niche um, to a specific audience. And the audience that I really want to target this to is folks just like me. Single moms that want to raise their kids instead of having a daycare do it. No offense, I mean daycares are great and, and please don't take offense to this if you are a single mom who's working your ass off and not getting to see your kids. Keep watching my videos and we'll work something out to where you can you can quit your job and spend time with your kids and still make money, okay? Um, because like I said, I've been doing this for two years. I find furniture, basically I find furniture for free that is good, like solid wood furniture. I find it for free. And keep watching, not necessarily this video, but go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm will assist me with getting this channel out there because I do intend on um, giving a lot of value through this channel. I really want to share how you two can be independent and feel like a good mom. I, I felt guilty as a mom. I mean, yes, I'm making $40,000 a year. Great. I can buy my kids what they want. But you know what kids want? They don't want you to buy them a bunch of stuff. They might act like they do. But you know what they want? They want your time. They want to spend time with their, their mom or their dad or whoever. You know, whether you're a single dad or single mom or maybe, you know, you're a 
married couple. Either way, kids want to spend time with their parents. They don't want to spend time in daycare for the majority of their day. You know, I mean, I know they have school and things like that that they have to go to, but they want to spend time with their parents. And so the reason that I started this um, type of YouTube video, and this is the type of videos that I'm going to continue on with entrepreneurship, specifically um, mom, mom entrepreneurship, um, because I want to show other mothers like myself that it's possible to live your dream without having a partner. I'm sure most of you watching that are single moms, you probably didn't plan on being a single mom. You, you probably planned on, you know, getting married and having a family and, you know, being maybe as for me, I planned on getting married, um, you know, having a bigger family, being a stay at home mom and just being able to like stay home, take care of the house, you know, make sure my husband's taken care of, take care of the kids, you know, do their homework with them, you know, all those things. That's what I planned. And obviously that didn't work out, but I wasn't going to stop my dream, like just because I don't have a a husband to, to, to go to work while I stay home, I'm not gonna let go of my dream. I don't, I don't need that. I'm just going to come up with a creative way to do it myself. So that's what these YouTube videos are gonna be about, is female entrepreneurship, specifically for moms, because there's a lot of things that, if you're just single, if you're just, you know, a single millennial, you know, um, investing and doing all these things and, you know, maybe you're a YouTuber and you're making good money off YouTube, which is fantastic. Um, I, I would love to do that too. And once again, just hit that like button because if you hit the like button, then it lets YouTube know that my videos, you know, are, are decent or good or great or whatever. And it pushes them out to other people. So it would really, really, really help my channel if you just hit the like button. Like I'm not begging don't hit like if you don't like it but if you do like it just let me know so I know um, but I think that's gonna be it for now I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of an opening of what my new content is going to be about and give you the the motivation that you can quit your forty thousand dollar a year job as a single mom as a homeowner as a car owner you can quit that job and I'm going to show you how you can continue to support your family and spend more time with your little ones while you can. If not sooner, you will be seeing daily video posts from me. And these posts are going to be all about how to be a single mom who's an entrepreneur, who gets to stay home with their kids and raise them and enjoy that life. So for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I love you all. And go out and, and I always say, I say this to my kids when I drop them off for school, do something nice for someone. Because not only does it make that someone feel good, it makes you feel good to do something nice for someone. So do something nice for someone and then drop it in the comments. Let me know, and the other people that are watching know, let me know what you did that was nice for someone and how they reacted or how it made you feel, okay? And then in the meantime, while you're waiting for my next video to come up, I told you that my my gig is furniture painting. Um, my business name is actually Redesign Relics. I have a Facebook page. It's The Facebook page has uh, started very recently because I've gone through some rebranding and I just started my own line of paint. Um, so feel free to look up my Facebook page. It's actually at my redesigned relics because redesigned relics for the at for Facebook was taken. So I just put my instead of it because I'm so creative. Um, but that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and do something nice for someone. And I will see you in the next video. You better be there because if you're not there, I will know and I will hunt you down and I will make you watch my videos. Maybe I won't include that. Does that sound desperate? I'm not trying to sound desperate. I don't know. I got some bloopers going on. All right. Well, peace out, people. I'll see you next time.
4,000.